just in case my car goes off that all right editors welcome back to another video so today i'm going to teach you how to make 3d text in premiere pro and if at the end of the video you found this to be helpful please drop a like and let's just jump straight into the video so for this you're going to want a very smooth cinematic or smooth clip um, you do not want it to be really shaky, and most importantly, you do not want the camera to like curve a lot like this, or have a weird FOV. You want it to be a straight and smooth clip, just like I have right here. First, is just go ahead and then click right here, click black video, make sure that the FPS and resolution matches that of your clip, but FPS is very important that you do not have it changed. I have a 29.97 frame rate right now on my project file, so that's what I need for my video. We can actually name this whatever you want, so I'm just going to name this 3D text. I should also mention that you don't want to use the actual text tool in Premiere because that's not going to do anything. Now that we have our 3D text dragged onto our project, what we want to go ahead and do is search up BCC, Extruded Text. So what this is going to do is going to make us, it's going to be the actual 3D text itself, and you can see that it already has some 3D to it, but it just needs a lot of editing. I should also mention you need the BCC plugin for this to work, so if you don't have it, go on YouTube and look for a tutorial on how to download it. But assuming that you have it installed, this is what you're going to need to do. So I have a preset of my own that I use, but I'm going to start from scratch like I'm assuming a lot of you are. You're going to want to go ahead and go to Effects Browser. It can take anywhere from like half a second to 10 seconds to load up, so don't worry if it's stalling for a little bit. You can see that there are going to be a lot of um things right here you don't really need to worry about those unless you want to use like a preset but this right here is what you're actually going to need to do this is going to be what your text says so for me let's just say i want to do my name i'll just and it's very important that you click insert text you want to click insert text then apply otherwise it won't work so as you can see my preset has already been applied to this automatically that can happen a lot if you use a preset so don't panic if yours doesn't look exactly like mine just remember all you need to do is click on effects browser put in whatever text you want and it should pop up on the screen the next thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and then go to transformations a i'm not going to go through every setting because i don't want to make this video extremely long but essentially all of these are pretty self-explanatory as you can see it's fully 3d text there's no flatness to it at all um very like metallic you can see right here it has a lot of texture and i think this is this is really good honestly a mistake that I used to make a lot is I would actually change the scale of our black video right here. And you can see that it cuts it off and makes it look horrible. You actually want to go down here into position Z. Um, for those who don't know the XYZ scale, it's pretty much um, positions and then like position Z where it's like back and forth how far you are from the camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and then drag this uh, down. And I just changed my clip a little bit to match a little bit more of a straight position. So I'm just going to go ahead and then have my text there. And I think that I want it right in front of the pillars and actually not uh, between them because that'll make it look a little bit small and I want it to look pretty big. Something that you're really going to want to do is have a, a reference point for your text. So you can see right here, uh, just go ahead and zoom in. I want mine to have a reference point. So if I have the edge of my X right here on this pillar, and I have the other edge of my X on this pillar right here, then that would mean that I'm able to track it on very easily. Because unlike After Effects, Premiere Pro doesn't have like a built-in tracker, so you're going to need to manually track this. And that's why it's extremely important that you have a reference point. So let me see if that looks centered, and it does. So this looks really good right here. But essentially, this is how, this is how long we're going to want the text to last for. So now that we have our text positions, let's go over the effects. So like I said, orientation X, all this stuff, orientation is going to be the rotation. Um, rotation this way should be the same thing. I don't know why it's duplicated. I just use whatever. Um, and then scale Y is obviously going to stretch it out a lot. So 100 is going to be the default value. Path, I have actually haven't used at all. And I don't really even use a lot of these effects. And then obviously our master scale up here is going to scale the entire thing up or down depending on how we want it. Another thing that you can do is you can make your text letters um, farther apart or closer together um, with the tracking right here. Uh, so you can make this super far apart if you want, which makes for a really good effect if you want like a really futuristic look. Or if you want it to be like really thick text, you can also do that as well. So for the sake of uh, mine right here, I'm just going to keep it at zero as a default. And then letter rotate is just going to spin your letters around like that. And I don't really need to mess around with that too much. Jitter will kind of mix mix up the letters. And I'm not going to explain every effect, effect like I said. I want you guys to experiment for yourselves. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and then stop there. Now that you know the basic effects, let's go ahead and then zoom in and we'll work on our extrusion. So as you can see that it's like a bit of a thin 3D text. Uh, I wanted a bit longer than that. So let me turn the extrusion depth, uh, depth up a lot. But 79 is obviously too much. It's just a bit laggy. So I'm just going to change this to about 40. And 40 looks pretty good. And the bevel amount is how it's like the, uh, the outline on the text. So if you were to change it to that, it doesn't look horrible, but at the same time, it does look horrible. So I'm just going to leave it around 1.2 and see how that looks. And that looks really good. It actually looks almost identical to the effect that I used in my montage before. And now we want our X to be on the position exactly of the pillars. So we can turn down the scale just a tiny bit until we find something that works. So as you can see, the tips of my X's are touching both the pillars. So now we're ready to start tracking. Because even though our text looks really good, it does not look good at all when it just doesn't track. So for me, I have the position X against the scales here. Against the pillars, I mean. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and then turn down my Y position. So that way I match the bottom X to the bottom pillar right here. You can see that there's a little line. So this is going to be the last frame in our clip. So we're going to go ahead and then keyframe position X and Y. So go right here to the end of the clip once you have the, both the start and the end keyframed. And you want to just go ahead and then alter this until it matches. And that looks actually pretty good. I've tracked both of my reference points, but it almost never works all the way. So we're just going to go ahead and play this through. And as you can see, it it's not perfectly tracked. It looks like it's going down a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and change that, and I'll get back to you when it's finished. So I just finished rendering it, and as you can see, the text is perfectly tracked onto the two pillars. Now if I were to take off these keyframes, then it would look super bad and it, ju it just look really unplanned. This is why I said you need a smooth shot or a cinematic um, because it's going to be extremely hard to manually track to like a moving building or something like that. So to take it to the next step and add a bunch of shake, if you don't want the shot to look super straight like this, you can just go ahead and then nest these two together. And now that you have a nested sequence, you can adjust these both while uh, they both move together. And you can just center this down if you want a little bit to make the text look like it's in the center. I've added some crop and I've messed with the scale a little bit. The last step is just to add some color correction. So I'm just going to use magic bullet looks. And I'm going to open the look panel to kind of adjust all of the colors we need. And all of my... And I have all of my presets for color correction. For the people that want this color correction, it's not a specific preset of mine. It just comes with the plugin. So just go ahead and then go into looks. And then people and it's called spot focus and this is going to add a little cc and you can obviously mess with presets a little bit you can take off edge softness but i think this actually looks really good for now after messing around with a little bit of the coloring again the tracking is not going to be perfect if you speed it up you can see that it looks a little bit weird but it's not after effects so it's manual tracking and for manual tracking that looks really good Again, I feel like I should mention that if you try to mess with the rotation of like this, the actual black video, uh, it's not going to work. It's going to look really bad. Like it, even the position and stuff, you need to use the BCC extruded text position, scale and rotation. Otherwise, the 3D effect is not going to work. I'm starting to post tutorials pretty frequently now. So if you want to learn how to become a great cinematic editor just like this, then consider subscribing. We're so close to 5,000 and it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next video.